guys have been talking about is we've got this guy right where we want him. Who's going to get the next one? It almost becomes a challenge, and they've missed a golden opportunity. From the gun on third down, it's Taylor. He's got Watkins on the out route. And he's able to get the first here as he's taken down at the 25. I don't care how many times we see it, I still get a kick out of watching quarterbacks and receivers do the pass tree in pregame warm-up. But I always remember that when we go to practices, we see that after practices as well. They really tune it up, don't they? They tune it up. They know why they do it for these situations. First down. And they build that trust, and that's why they're able to find him in this type of a situation. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. And we're back now in Mission Valley and San Diego been a very hotly contested game to this point just a field goal separating these two teams as we get set for the fourth quarter and here comes play number six on this drive looks like the defense in press coverage here now Taylor to throw on second down and caught right side, Green. Eight yards on the completion, but now they face third down. Brandon, so many times we see the crossing route start as a quick hitter, but in this play, he had time in the pocket and waited for him to clear going across. Trying to keep the drive going here. This is play number seven on third and two. Throw on third down on the screen, Bernard. And he'll be out of bounds, taking it just shy of the 10 at the 11 or the 12. It's a gain of four there, and it gives him a new set of downs. And Brandon, from our time in college football, where receivers weren't running the traditional NFL route tree, one thing they did learn, find open areas, find soft spots, and set up and catch the ball. And I think we just saw that there. Yeah, we saw that indeed, picking up the first. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And he was able to shed the tackle, but the reserves come in for the stop. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Tough day, tough sledding right there, and it's been that way the entire game. Not a whole lot of room to ramble for him. Yeah, you're right, it's been that way all afternoon. Didn't get a whole lot better there. On second down, here's Taylor. That's gonna be caught at the 10-yard line. No gain on the play, and it'll bring up a third down. Usually the offense has an answer to anything a defense throws at them, including a safety valve, and that's what they did on that play. They went there, but the defense still made an excellent play and held them to no gain. On third down, Taylor eluding the pressure right. That's going to be caught at the 10-yard line. They get only four that time as that leads us to a fourth down. When you see zone defense and you know you've got a drag route on as your primary call, you got to be really careful as a passer about how far you let your guy go because he might wander into some tough coverage. So on fourth down, out trots the kicker in a big spot here. From the right hash here, should be an easy one. And Bullock will put this one through. And in the fourth quarter, this game is tied. I tell you, the life of a kicker. He has not been called on the entire game. He's over there by the net, but they send him out here in the fourth quarter and say, hey, go tie the game, will you? And guess what? He comes through. I just don't know how they do it. I really don't. These cats are a different breed from you and me. That's a pressure kick, but that one was never in doubt. And they'll have good starting field position as he's up just shy of the 40. Out comes the San Diego offense as they get set to see what they can do here. And on the last go around, they really couldn't get anything going. They had to punt from deep inside their own territory, which means you're going to lose the field position battle as a general rule. What they're looking for now is a little more consistency, move the ball at least a few times on offense, get a couple of first downs, and hopefully flip the field. Yeah, just something to build off of. That's what they're looking for here. Quick hitter here. It's complete. A gain of six there on first.
So they complete the pass, and now they face a second down. Working out of the gun, Rivers. And incomplete there. A nice hit. Jars the ball free and brings up third down. Third down and four. From the shotgun, it's Rivers. And this time he's got the hookup. It's complete. A really nice pickup of 14 yards, and it moves the sticks. And fits the exact right word. Over the middle, there's almost always traffic. So anytime you're a receiver in that area, you're not just focused on catching the football. You're wondering where the collision's going to come from, right? Because there's almost always someone there able to concentrate, catch it, and even added a little extra at the end with a short run. On first and 10, Rivers got a man over the middle. It's Williams. A good pick up there. Eight yards on the first down completion. Well, clearly one of his advantages as a passer is his height. Sit back in the pocket, fired over the middle. That makes things tougher defensively, doesn't it? It really does because your goal is to move the quarterback off his initial spot when he gets his drop back completed. But when you have that type of height, he can stay in there. If he's willing to take the hits and just fire over the top, which saves him time and actually completes a play a little bit quicker than it normally does for a quarterback has to slide and find open space to throw. Well, Brandon, he's had a great day, and sometimes that just happens. It is the NFL. They will make some plays against you. Looks like a nickel set here defensively on third and two. Yeah, maybe expecting a throw. From the gun, Rivers. Got a man, it's complete. Williams. Just four yards on the pickup, but that's good enough to extend the drive. Would it be safe to say that as precise as routes are supposed to be run in the NFL, maybe they're not quite as precise in college ball? That's accurate, yeah. And I think we saw a college route in the NFL there. Just find the soft spot, find the dead zone, and find the first down. And that's what he just did. And here comes play number six on this drive. Going to give this time to the tailback. And he'll fall forward to the 29-yard line. Two yards on the pick up there. It'll be second and eight. That's a good play by the guys on the defensive side of the ball. Held him to a gain of two. And that changes the playbook a little bit now for the guy calling plays. Second and eight. Now he's got to probably think about going to the air instead of maybe staying with the ground game. They'll give it to him right up the gun. And he is going to loop. And now the Bengal defense here calling a timeout. It's just their first. They've got two more to use here in the final stages. Now play number eight on this drive, and they need nine yards to pick up the first on third. Decided to air it out a little bit on that play, take a shot downfield, but the coverage was really nice. Able to get a hand in and tip it away. And 
and Lambeau will put this one through. And with a little over a minute to play, they have taken the lead. Well, now then, it's a big kick right there to give them the lead in the fourth. But, Charles, there is still time left for a final drive. Brandon, you know they would have liked to take the clock down just a little bit further, at least under a minute or so, but this was not over yet, especially since they just need a field goal. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. The Bengals' offense now, they head back onto the field. They're only in need of a field goal, a decent amount of time on the clock, so tell me if I'm wrong. You don't have to be too panicked here. No, not at all. I agree with you. And this is where your preparation and your confidence comes into play. They've worked on these situations. Yeah, they practice this all the time. Oh, they practice they? it all the time. They know what they want to get done. And in a lot of cases, the great competitors, they love this situation. They think they can go ahead and get it done. They practiced it. We'll see if practice makes perfect. Possible run anticipation. Here's the D-line sandwiches together. He's back to throw. And his throw here is incomplete. A good number of coaches at any time they call an in route are really worried about the play because there's so much traffic ordinarily that the ball has to get through to get to the receiver. And on that play, it was batted down. taken down what a huge play at this point in the game and i know it seems like we say this a lot in broadcast booths but a quarterback can hold on to the football too long in these situations i think he did right there oh i agree with you totally sometimes you have to understand situations get rid of the football save some yardage to make it less to gain for the next down instead he was so hipped on ball security he held on to it and took a big sack And now the Chargers are going to look up here and signal for a timeout. It's just their first. They've got two more to use here in the final stages. So a big sack on second down. Now let's see what the offense has in store for third. Here we go. Back to throw. And he can't get a throw away. He's taken down. Now hold everything here. We're going to get a timeout by the offense. That'll leave him with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. One score down, here we go. They're gonna go for it here on fourth down. Let's go! He'll look to throw. He's got time. And they hit him as he throws, as this one's gonna go straight down to the turf, incomplete. And now San Diego getting set to go. Only one timeout defensively, so this should just be a simple kneel down. I agree totally. I looked at my time management chart. It says, take a knee, victory formation. They just have one timeout left, and that should be all, of, all she wrote. By the way, it's a good thing you can read that because nobody else can. <laughs> not with my chicken scratch, not at all. Victory formation, time for the Chargers. They take a knee. Charles, I think when the schedule comes out, all teams, no matter where they're predicted to finish, talk about protecting your home turf. They were able to do that here in this one. Similar to a tennis match, right?